Guided Meditation for Transcendence, day 99. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is day 99 out of 100 daily meditations. Congratulations if you follow through from day one. This is incredible. I am so happy. I'm very joyful. I didn't even know that I would make it, to be honest, to do these meditations every single day. But we got here and thanks for all your support and your kind messages and kind wishes and so on. So day 99, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good meditation. I hope it's going to be a good meditation in any case. I want to also welcome the newcomers. If you're new here and you start the 100 days challenge on day 99, then don't worry about it. Please do stay with us right now. You're going to enjoy this meditation. There's going to be all the instructions you need. And maybe later during the day or tomorrow, you can start back on day one to experience the full 100 day challenge. Okay, cool. As you guys know, these meditations come to you for free and we appreciate all donations. Thank you so much for all our supporters on Patreon. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much for that. And if you would like to know more about it, I will link everything you need in the description to this video below or in the show notes of the podcast if that's where you're listening to. Let's start our meditation as every day with a nice little quote. Today is, of course, going to be a quote by Marcus Aurelius, uh, king, king, <laughs> emperor of Rome, uh, one of the founders of Stoic philosophy and one of my favorite, favorite authors ever. Well, he's not really an author because his book, Meditations, was his personal journal that should never have been read by anybody, but it is a huge resource of great, great, great wisdom he says, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. I love this. Please let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you. And yes, actually, somebody asked me, yes, I think it is the old man in Gladiator, the old emperor in Gladiator. This is supposed to be Marcus Aurelius. Although there are some historical inaccuracies in that movie, but if you want to think of it that way, yes, it is. But anyway, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. So we must nurture good thoughts, we must nurture our virtues, our values, and we have to learn how to put boundaries around what is of an unreasonable nature, to use his words, okay? And we learn to do this on this channel we're going to do it much more after this challenge is over with our morning routines where we study ancient and modern wisdom, we make some exercises, we do some visualization exercises, we do some affirmations, some empowering information, affirmations, some meditations also. Uh, and these meditations, I hope, help you too on this, uh, on this path of becoming the best version of yourself, not only for you, but also for the people around you so that you can serve your full potential and you can serve at your full potential the world and the people you love. Okay, so on that happy note, let's uh, start with our meditation. As always, we start by finding a nice place to sit where you not be disturbed, somewhere nice and comfortable, preferably on a meditation pillow or on a chair or directly on the floor if your posture allows it. Stand nice and tall, nice and straight, aligned with your spine, nice and proud. And to do so, we use the analogy of a string pulling you up from the top of your head. The chest goes out, the chin goes in, not in that order. The chin goes in and then the chest goes out, right? The, the shoulders are nice and low, nice and far from the ears. And we're going to do some nice deep breaths so that we eliminate tension in our body before we start our transcendental meditation. So, in through the nose, nice and deep from the belly, nice and slow. And release out through the mouth with a nice sigh. Every exhalation is a opportunity to relax your muscles, to relax more and more, and to release tensions in your body, right? So in through the nose, nice, starting from the belly up to the chest, and when you're nice and full, you release with no action and no effort through the mouth. 
like a balloon fills up and then you open the balloon, all the air goes away. You don't have to press the balloon. Once more, in through the nose, nice and slow. And releasing on the exhalation, this time closing your eyes. In a few moments, you will be greeted by a vibration, a sound. And you will put your attention, your focus on that sound as gently and as effortlessly as possible. This vibration will stay on the foreground of your mind during the entirety of this meditation. This vibration will be our guide, our guide to transcendence, our guide beyond our own ego, beyond our own intelligence, beyond our own understanding of the universe around us, of life around us and within us, and beyond the concepts of time and space, eliminating the past, eliminating the future also, enabling us to be fully present here and now during this deep trance guided meditation we're doing together today. If a thought comes, don't don't be bothered by it. Don't worry about it. Don't think you're failing at meditations. People asking me this, am I failing when I'm thinking? No, you are a thinking being. Don't judge yourself for thinking and don't judge the thought. Don't try to eliminate the thought. Don't try to get rid of the thought. Don't try to put, push it aside. Simply go back to the vibration. Put your attention back on that vibration uh, as effortlessly as possible. Always as effortlessly as possible. And bringing the vibration back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the vibration fades out, you will continue reproducing it in your own mind, keeping it alive for a few moments.
me now let go of the vibration. The meditation session is over. Whenever you feel ready, whenever you feel the time is right, take a nice deep breath in through the nose and on the exhalation, open your eyes. Get reacquainted with the sensations in your body, starting with the extremities, your toes and your fingers, your hands, your feet. And get reacquainted to the space around you, to your environment, Noticing what's familiar, what's new. Noticing any colors and in spe in specific colors in particular. Noticing any lights and contrasts with shadows, darkness, textures, shapes. Also noticing some sounds or smells. I'm going to leave you at it by yourself so that you have time and peace to go at it. And um, thank you again for joining us on this meditation before you go and start your day or continue with your daily activities. I want to say thank you for joining us again today on day 99. If you've enjoyed this meditation, please do hit that like button or press that like button and click on that like button. And if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. That really helps. I appreciate it, I appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow for day 100 of our meditation challenge. Take care, see you tomorrow, bye-bye.